My name is Edward Shula. I work with the Stormwater's Inspection Team, I'm the Inspection Chief. I've been with the City of Fort Lauderdale for 19 years, and today we're going to show you how we inspect the storm drains throughout the City of Fort Lauderdale. Our teams are out every day cleaning routine areas and doing inspections, but we also will take care of our neighbors' customer service calls. There are nearly 10,000 catch basins in the city, and last year's city teams conducted nearly 20,000 inspections, a combination of proactive and reactive, which were in response to resident calls. On average, every catch basin is inspected twice a year to ensure we're always ready for the next storm. Okay, everybody always asks, what's a catch basin? Catch basin is a storm water, what we call an inlet, and it's a structure that holds water and it helps the water travel through the gravity main. Right now, he's inspecting the drain to make sure there's no cracks or any discrepancies around the basin and around the apron. He's also checking to see the depth of the water. If it's a half a pipe, which we call the pipe is halfway or full pipe. And now he's using the sediment stick. What the sediment stick does is it shows us the depth of the water that's inside the basin that's holding at the bottom of the sump. It's normal for there to be water in the catch basin because several things that may occur, it may be a tight influence area or it can be perforated pipe. And if it's perforated pipe, it may take anywhere from 48 to 72 hours to drain. We receive a lot of calls about when the storm is coming. The residents want us to come out and clean their basins and make sure they're clear. But we do have areas that we take, we call them high impact areas. So we do not necessarily just go to every area. We have some areas we key in on to go out and check care of their basins. But if you see any type of debris in your basin, uh, any type of vegetation, call us and we'll come out and make sure it get clean. We decide a catch basin needs to be clean when we see sediments, when we see close amount of water, or any type of debris on the inside as far as vegetation, anything like that. And we get a crew to come out with a vector truck and they clean the basins out. The cross box has sediment in it too. So what he's gonna do is gonna reposition the truck, put it on this side, and we're gonna clean this box. If the cleaning crew encounters a blockage in your pipe, then an advanced inspection will be done by the CCTV crew. What they did was they put a camera in the ground, a robotic camera, and they went across the street up under the road to make sure the pipe was clean, doesn't have any cracks, doesn't have any deficiencies. That's the result of a clean pipe and a great piece of infrastructure in the city of Fort Lauderdale. We are FTL.